Hello guys. So now we are going to discuss about different types of endocarditis. Okay, different types of endocarditis, inflammation of the endocardium. So mainly endocardium they form what the walls of heart. So mainly the walls are affected. So we have different types of endocarditis. First one rheumatic endocarditis that we discussed in the last video. We'll discuss the difference. Then we have uh, subacute endocarditis. Okay, subacute bacterial endocarditis. That is SABE. You can call it as. Then you have acute endocarditis. Then you have Lipman sac endocarditis. Then you have Marantic endocarditis. So we'll see what are the difference. Okay. So different endocarditis. What are they? Different endocarditis are. So we are going to study about endocarditis. Endocarditis include first one is rheumatic endocarditis that you have studied just now. Rheumatic endocarditis. Then you have S sap. It is subacute bacterial endocarditis. Then you have acute endocarditis. Okay. Then you have Lipman sac. Lipman sac endocarditis. And then we have Marantic. That is a form Marantic endocarditis. Marantic. Now, in the MCQ point of view, they will ask to differentiate. Okay, so we have to know what the difference between each, where they are affecting, who, how they are affecting, what are the difference. So we will see how to differentiate. So let's make a table and differentiate each endocarditis. Okay. So we are gonna make a table. Let me differentiate each endocarditis. First of all. We have the rheumatic endocarditis, okay. rheumatic endocarditis. Then we will discuss sap, that is sub acute bacterial endocarditis, SAB. Then we will discuss the third one, that is our acute endocarditis. Acute endocarditis. Okay. Then we have Lipman sac. Lipman sac endocarditis. Lipman sac endocarditis. The last one is our Marantic. Marantic endocarditis. Okay. See among this, the Marantic, this one, Marantic is very easy, so we will study first that one. See, this is the, if you take this as heart wall, heart wall, you can see vegetation in the wall, vegetation in the wall, anywhere, okay. Marantic uh, endocardi is caused by hypercoagulation, hypercoagulation of blood, due to any cancer due to any cancer mainly the lung cancer mainly this cancer lung cancer but there is no metastasis okay you know metastasis right it is a benign type there is no metastasis so who forms a marantic endocrine due to hypercoagulation of blood due to any cancer mainly lung cancer and there is no metastasis in it now we will see the difference of each one, rheumatic endocarditis, say everything, okay. Now, in rheumatic endocarditis, I have told, forgot to tell you in the last video, the rheumatic endocarditis, you can see vegetation, but here the vegetation scene is along the line, vegetation scenes in the wall is along the line, okay, vegetation is 
or along line along the line we call it as commissural end okay commissural end okay so in rheumatic arthritis it is on the along the end in subacute bacterial endarthritis it is on the upper side of what only on the upper side here vegetation is on upper side now in acute endocarditis you can see the vegetation anywhere anywhere upper and or lower vegetation and also this is an mcq important mcq in litman you can see mainly in lower mainly vegetation is in lower side vegetation mainly lower but little you can see upper also sometimes upper little upper also so that is a one different they used to ask in many mcq okay now rheumatic endocarditis is caused by what you have said group a beta hemolyticus streptococcus g a b h s you have studied it okay now this say sub acute bacterium is caused by streptococcus viridans streptococcus viridans now acute is caused by staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus aureus litman is an autoimmune disorder is autoimmune disorder it comes together with sld systemic lupus erythematosus kidney disease where the kidney is in bad lobe it is an autoimmune okay so litman sac endocarditis you can see in sld okay now that is the first difference they are going to ask you now this one is sterile form rheumatic is sterile form but this cell is non sterile this is also non sterile and this is also sterile only two are sterile rheumatic and litman sterile cell and acute are non sterile okay now they will ask you the firm firm means this one this one is firm firm means they form a hard mass cell means non firm non firm means they can cause embolism okay they cause embolism here is also not firm and here it is firm because here no embolism here they can migrate the mass of blood okay here it is also firm now next different they will ask you this see these are mainly affecting mitral valve the bicuspid valve but the acute is mainly affecting tricuspid so keep in mind this one is mainly affecting which one tricuspid valve because you know the drug users right the drug users take iv injection iv injection so mainly it is spread through this iv injection in people who are using the drug abusers okay because that back they are sharing the needle side right? so this will go first the blood goes first to our right part of our right part we have which one tricuspid so bacteria will go to the tricuspid and they will start going there okay so main cause is iv drug abusers iv drug abusers okay as it is autoimmune litman is mostly seen in female and autoimmune are more in female right because they are bearing what pregnancy so their immunity will be decreased than male so autoimmune more in female as well as litman is more in female now last thing you have to remember the treatment okay as these three are by what bacteria so we will treat with what anti biotics for the three rheumatic same and acute but this is an autoimmune what here you will use what steroids okay here the reason is what hypercoagulation here we will use what anti coagulants we will use anti coagulant so in a short the just the uh, difference the vegetation of 
rheumatic enterocarditis is along the line in the mitral wall so we call it as commissional line in the same it is in the upper side in the acute enterocarditis it is can be anywhere okay it can be anywhere and ligma it is mainly on the lower side little on upper side okay now the cause is group a beta hematocytic streptococcus rheumatic enterocarditis sub acute bacterial endocarditis caused by streptococcus viridens acute endocarditis caused by streptococcus aureus ligma sac is an autoimmune disorder it comes from sld systemic lupus erythematosus by group kidney okay now it is sterile form and save is non sterile and acute endocarditis also non sterile ligma is again sterile it is firm because it doesn't show any embolism but save they can show embolism acute they also show embolism but ligma never show embolism they are also firm and acute is mainly affecting tricuspid because you can remember iv drug abuses then they are three are caused by bacteria you can treat with antibiotics and ligma you can use what steroids because of autoimmune and marantic you can use anticoagulant so this is a very important mcq so you can feel the understand the difference right so that's all so these are helpful in many mcq thank you